Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you some thoughts about my climb to Monte Vios, which is in the Italian Alps. I climbed it several years ago and uh, I wanted to climb it when I first saw some videos about it long ago. And uh, I finally managed a few years ago and uh, I want to say here a few words about this. I'm using my post in the site to show you some pictures and also some numbers. The, uh, this is a quite a high mountain, so more than 3,600 meters. And uh, the elevation difference from the car parking is more, more than 2,000 meters. So this is quite a lot. But when I compare this climb with some other uh, mountains, for example, Cima Piazzi, which is uh, not so far from this uh, area, uh, I find Montevios uh, much easier, although it is higher than uh, Cima Piazzi, for example. The reason for that is that uh, the access route that I followed, which starts from Peio village, is very direct. Uh, it's reasonably short for such a high mountain, but it is uh, not really uh, uh, steep, uh, so you don't have uh, any scramble section. It is all the time just walk up. So again, although the elevation difference is uh, more than two kilometers, uh, I did this um, climb in five hours and 20 minutes. Uh, at the car parking, you will see the sign uh, suggesting that you need six hours. And uh, I can tell you, this can easily be done uh, much faster. When I started, there was one Italian person and I asked him if it was really six hours. And he said, no, you can do this in four hours easily. And actually, as I was walking up, I met him on the way back. So he was really fast and no doubt he did it uh, much faster than me. But in any case, plan at least five hours for this tour. I will show you uh, where it is located and how to get there and what to do. So here I have one uh, an interactive map which I created for this post and you can see. So this is the Peyo village where you park the car. And then from there you continue to, to the mountain. But to see the wider area, you should know that this is uh, close uh, between Sondrio and Bozen, which is on the northeast. So just to get some idea where you are. And here is again, uh, you see for, uh, Sondrio, Bozen, and so on. So. If you follow the link below the video and come here, you will easily you will be easily um, able to navigate this map and then to understand the location. Uh, I was renting an apartment here in Osana, so it was very convenient. This is just a few kilometers along this beautiful valley to Peo, and uh, in Peo uh, it was a bit difficult to to understand where to go. It's a very small village, but to help you you should simply continue through the village and then you will come to the area where there is a the cemetery for the soldiers from the World War I. And this is the area where you have lots of free parking space and you will see the sign for the tour. So again, just go through the village, don't leave the car in the village, uh, continue to this space and uh, park the car and then start walking. This is the picture from the lower part of the road just to understand that they are still in the forest area so the, the, the village bay is at 1600 meters and you walk through the woods uh, through such uh, areas and then after that it's a pure rock i have marked here roughly the uh, the route on the map and you see it is quite uh, direct uh, so uh, finding the route is easy there are no really places where you can get lost here. 
there are some uh, lifts that you can use uh, to come to some area from where you can start the walk uh, but I didn't use it so again I came to Bayo by car and then continued walking here is again the view <clears throat> towards the hut it is somewhere here or here I forgot actually and uh, this is one picture from from the route when you are high above so it's uh, quite steep but the this is just a walk up so no exposed sections it's really uh, doable easily you don't need any special equipment for this and here is view back which is when you are very high so this is Osana valley probably uh, far below as I said this is a high mountain and here is my first view of the Mont uh, Vios hut so this is Refugio Mantova Vios which is directly below the summit this is the summit actually as you see so you have the place to stay uh, overnight if you wish to do so the, this is one of the highest uh, huts actually in the Alps and you will enjoy it uh, if you don't to want to stay you can have a meal there uh, I was only in front of the hut I didn't want to enter because this was the time of Covid and uh, nobody knew what we were facing at the time so I wanted I preferred to stay outside and not to mix with people, people too much but uh, the mountain was actually crowded there were so many people and uh, uh, well you don't feel lonely when you go to this mountain it is quite popular so this is the summit view uh, view from the hut and uh, this is now view from the summit and the hut is as you see directly below i had good weather uh, plenty of snow around so this is the area around the this is the summit across but you can walk around and have beautiful views as you see people were walking uh, many great mountains are around so this is the view toward the uh, San Punta San Mateo and Treso group uh, and uh, this is Palon de la Mare, Monte Cevedale, Cevedale and Cima Cevedale or the Zufala Spitze so all in all this was really pleasant experience uh, I didn't have any special I mean I didn't use any special equipment but I had uh, my uh, crampons with me I used my day pack uh, Osprey and these are actually crampons that you see I had my water filter and uh, tracking poles so this is all I had uh, I for this uh, tour I used my Scarpa uh, uh, triolet boots you can see them in my separate post uh, these are excellent boots I had a bit uh, problems some problems with uh, with uh, um, with blisters but uh, okay this was uh, part of breaking them in so this is normal anyway this is all I wanted to say about uh, this mountain this is again one picture with a group of Italians descending and they were singing out loud so beautiful atmosphere beautiful mountain as you realize from this picture it, it looks steep but the, the road goes zigzag and it's never really too steep to walk I did it in 5 hours 20 minutes some people will do it faster no doubt and uh, well that's it uh, thank you for watching please uh, subscribe to my channel follow the link below the video to come here to my site to read this text in detail and uh, yeah, give me a like if you wish